Here we go, another weekend recap starting with Bears basketball. Coming into the weekend in need of some wins and they delivered against Trinity Western. On Friday, Mama Dugea poured in 28 points and added 8 rebounds to lead the way for the Bears in the 78-58 victory. Brody Clark added 17 points of his own as the two combined to shoot 67%. Saturday night was more of the same with Gea dropping 27 and Clark adding 16 and the team combined to knock down 10 three-pointers. With the wins, the Bears remain in playoff position and travel to play the Huskies next. Pandas basketball came into the weekend riding an eight-game win streak and Jesslyn Fairbanks came out determined to extend that streak. Fairbanks went 11 for 15 from the field and dropped a career-high 33 points in the 83-63 victory, becoming the first Panda to score 30 or more points at home since 2007. Saturday night was a well-balanced attack from the Pandas as Maddie Rogers led the way with the almost triple-double of 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists, and four other Pandas scored in double figures for the big 81-46 victory. Pandas are 16 and 1 on the season with just 3 games left to play. Bears hockey facing off against the Huskies, the number one ranked team in the country entering the weekend, but it was the Golden Bears who came out on top of the chippy affair with Jordan Rowley and Cruz Reddick each putting up a goal and an assist with Luke Siemens making 23 saves in a 3-0 shutout. The Bears kept the momentum going on Saturday as they jumped to another 3-0 lead before eventually winning 5-2, with Stefan Lego leading the way with 3 points. The wins were huge as the Bears are only one point away from the second place Cougars who they happen to face this weekend in their last regular season games. On the road, Pandas Hockey finished the weekend with a split against the Huskies with a 2-1 loss on Friday with Ashley Morin putting up the lone goal, followed up by a nail-biting 2-1 double overtime victory on Saturday with Natasha Steblin scoring the game winner. The Pandas sit in third place but still have a shot at first with two games left. 